Hello, I'm Andy and I'm a safety engineer. Welcome to this Omron Tech Talk. During this video, we will learn how to correctly use the start, reset and auto reset inputs variables on SysMac safety function blocks. There is often confusion in respect to what the start, reset and auto reset variables do and whether or not they more or less do the same thing. They do not do the same thing. Start reset is the reset condition requirements as the function block is activated if we have a logic condition of one on the safety function input variable, in my example, a guard switch. Upon transition of the activate variable moving from false to true, it denotes how the function block should respond. Auto reset is the reset condition once the block is activated. So it is possible to have a different reset profile on startup than you have when running. I have prepared four examples with the various combinations. For these examples, I'm using Sysmac Studio version 1.29.2. Example one, using a guard monitoring function block. I have got start reset set to false and auto reset set to false. Upon transition of the activate signal on the function block, I would expect the safety guard monitoring output to stay at a false condition until the reset button is pushed. So in effect, the block will be working continuously in a manual reset capacity. If I activate the function block, you can see the output has stayed at false. If I now push reset, the output changes state. If I open and close the guard, another manual reset is required. As you can see in my second example, I'm again using the guard monitoring function block. I have got start reset set at true and auto reset set at false. In this case, I would expect upon activation of the function block, providing the guard switch conditions are true, the output will move to a true status. However, then on transition of the guard switch from true to false and back to true, a manual reset will be required. If I now activate the function block, you will see the output transitions to true. If I open and close the guard, a reset is required for the output to now change state. As you can see here in example three, I have start reset set to false and auto reset set to true. Set up in this way, I would expect the output to stay false when the transition from false to true takes place on the activate signal. A manual reset will be required. However, once the function block is running, a transition on the guard from true to false to true will not require a manual reset. So if I activate the function block, you'll see that the safety output is still in a false condition. A manual reset is required to bring the safety output on. However, now when I open and close the guard, function block is running in an auto reset configuration. As you can see in my fourth and final example, I have start reset set at true and auto reset set at true. Under these conditions, I would expect the output to never require a manual reset. If I activate the function block, you will see that the output transitions immediately to true. I open the guard, obviously moves to false, close the guard, back to true. So the function block is running in a permanent auto reset condition. So that's how we correctly use the start reset and auto reset variables in Sysmac safety. Thank you.